What's going on guys? So I've been meaning to make this video for a little bit um, since uh, it is balls for balls related. Speaking of which, got my balls. Um, I wanted to go over how we're going to kind of be judging things because uh, last year I don't think people understood what we were going for and stuff like that and I didn't explain it until like we were in the judging process but now that we've got time might as well tell you what we're going to do so uh, there's four things that every entry is going to be judged on first it's going to be quality of the build like literally how well you built it um, nub marks um, sticker placement Things like that, um, because it does matter, honestly. Um, and everything is on a scale from one to ten. So most people won't score below a five. <laughs> Obviously, that's going to be a fairly average uh, bottom end of score. But there were times last year that, in some cases, we got pretty low scores. Um, but quality of the build is important. So make sure your nubs are clean, no bad scratch marks. Your panel lines are nice and neat and literally within the lines um if your paint work if you are painting if your paint is actually done well that matters um hoodie's a little weird um next up is going to be detail work now mind you the out of the box and the uh, the out of the box class this isn't really going to apply to so in that case you guys won't be judged on uh details at all it's just going to be the quality of the build to begin with um so details how you are painting on smaller things um anything like that anything that is detail work on the kit and that's pretty much from beginner all the way through advanced so i mean if you're in the advanced category and you don't even have like small things like thrusters painted or little like I don't know, for instance, like screw holes, something like that, small details. If little things aren't done, or even in this, in some cases, big things aren't done, uh, it'll stand out and it will hurt your score. So details matter, except really in the out of the box category, because the only thing you can really do there is build it as good as you can with what's available in the box. Next thing up is pose. And this matters across the board. Now, mind you, I know the balls are fairly limited posing wise so if you're going to integrate it it kind of makes sense to like this might also be a part of um like if you make a diorama or something like that if it's in something you know if it's battling another thing or in the case of you doing horrors you can technically pose the uh, the horrors they do have posability and stuff like that so my, these kits aren't going to be that, but if you're going to be kit bashing, you're going to be throwing on other arms and legs and stuff like that from different kits, then totally poses matter. Um, if you need to, by all means, look up videos or uh, details on how to pose things and what looks good and stuff like that. Because a, a standing, like a stance, just standing there, in this case, with your arms to the side, it's pretty boring. Or standing there just holding the sword straight out that kind of stuff um it's gonna it's gonna matter good poses uh last year there was a couple guys who um like i said there's one guy in particular i remember he did every single picture his thing was in a different pose and everything was almost set up like a meme that was actually kind of funny um by all means nothing has to stay static for your presentation which is the next thing Presentation, which is where Thomas Rice really blew everyone else out of the water last year because he his presentation of his build was ridiculous. Between making a very detailed poster-like thing of all the stuff, like in this fictional universe, broke all that down to having so many pictures of every little thing on his build is all presented very well. Now, mind you, you don't have to be, you don't have to have like a ridiculous setup like I do to pull these things off. You can have, like, say you just lay out a bed sheet or something like that, or a couple pieces of paper or something like that. You know, that's going to matter to your presentation. If you've just got it sitting on a desk, nothing else going on, you've got like a plate of food in the background, stuff like that, that's going to hurt you. You want to present it well. And that's also where we set the minimum of 10 pictures this year. Because if you're going to do a lot of stuff, we want to see it. 
Um, you know, we want to see how well you've done. Whether it's the build, whether it's the details, whether it's the pose or poses, because you can totally, like I said, you can totally pull off multiple poses with the same kit if you're going to do that. Um, and then overall presentation, especially if you're going to do something like a diorama or anything like that, present it well. And like I said, it, we're not there in person. We can't walk around and see your build from every angle. We can't get up close to look at stuff. So you have to do that for us with your camera, um, phone, whatever you're using. Um, and like I said, if you have like a YouTube channel or something like that and you're going to do it with a video, the same rules still apply. Get in close, show us all the details, make sure we can see the things. Make sure things aren't blurry by any means. <laughs> School bus is outside. Because um, there was a couple pictures where people were like a few feet away from the thing. Like last year, of course, it was a lupus. So it's standing in the box from however many feet away. And it's just like, well, we can't really tell anything you did because you're way away. So we want to see the thing. And if you want to, by all means, go back to the winter announcement from last year to see the uh, different uh, the different things, the different presentations, stuff like that. If you need ideas for that, if you need poses, by all means, the internet is at your disposal to find things. And for the shame class, well, you're going to do things with the poses probably. I'm not even going to spell it out. Um, so far, um, nobody's actually officially entered yet, but I've gotten a lot of questions. I've gotten a lot of people saying that they're totally getting their things. They're, they're trying to find their kits, you know, stuff like that. I've got a lot of people say, Ooh, I've got some great ideas for that. And I've been spreading the word. Um, got a lot more views on the announcement video. Thanks to Zach Aurelius, who, uh, who gave us a, a minor shout out. Um, and then uh, having it posted directly on the front of the Shoki page probably also helps. And I've been trying to spam it everywhere. If you, if you know about the contest and you see somebody posting something with a ball or a Haro build, tell them about the contest by all means. Myself, uh, Rodimus13, uh, Eric, we've been doing that in the Facebook groups and stuff like that. By all means, you guys help spread the word as well. If you're on Twitter and you see these things, if you're on Instagram, do these things. Tag the photo with the hashtag balls for balls or hashtag B for B, which actually I found out balls for balls has been a hashtag before, but it's been a while. It was also for testicular uh, cancer awareness, but it was totally unrelated to this, but it's just funny. But like I said, spread the word, get it out there, do whatever. If you have any other questions, by all means, do it in the comments of this video or email me directly to the thing. Um, if you need to message the Shoki Facebook, by all means, you can do that. That's usually the quickest way to get a hold of me, um, except via email, which, you know, takes a minute. But I can spell things out for you. Um, but, you know, I want to see a lot of a, a lot of participation this year because it is it's really important. I mean, the disease last year obviously was important, but this one, you know, it hits home to at least, you know, one of the people involved here. So that's it really does matter. And uh, we're still working on the merchandise stuff. Uh, Ryan's been really busy with school and things like that. So we have a lot of the ideas actually like nearly finalized. And I'm really, really happy about that. As we, the last update we got was actually really, really cool. I was like, it was like, it's cool to see an idea you came up with actually on the page. Um, like, like I said, I, I've, I was an artist. I did art forever growing up, but I, in this new digital age, I'm a little bit lost on how to make things happen. That's why I put out things to Ryan or to um, Thomas or other guys. So, but guys, uh, I look forward to all your entries and everything else. Like I said, questions down, be 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 down below. That was rewind. <laughs> and I uh, look forward to all things coming up. I have a cool custom build of a non gumpa thing coming up very very soon i will need to get back to work on the musha this weekend uh it's been raining and cold so it's been hard to do um, a lot of other things and i have a video coming up about uh, some stuff that's going on locally um i need to shoot that video here in a minute so see you guys later remember as always keep on building and hashtag balls for balls y'all